Hey, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag, what's up with you guys? This is a uh, general read for October 7th. Woo! Just ground yourself, babies. Just ground yourself. This is, we're looking at love and abundance for, for you. Messages just want to come through for October 7th. Uh, they don't necessarily happen on October 7th because this is a general read. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I could be talking to a cross watcher actually. So, you know, feel free to swap around the characters and just take whatever works for you. All right. As always. So let's see what's going on for you. This is the wisdom of the Oracle deck here. Let's see. Yeah. I saw this while I was, um, while I was, uh, shuffling orphaned. Something has ended exchanging gifts. Change in the wind. Okay, so I feel like somebody's coming on your path here. Somebody could be coming back around to you that was a, a previous relationship in your life. And there's now an opportunity to, I don't know, work things out, but more, more or less like connect. And some really important change coming okay just keep you know put a pin in that some really important change coming i know you've felt some sadness around this person they could have felt some sadness they could have gone through some change some big change in their life okay and now you guys are really connecting here in the present in the future big change is coming okay big changes one more please okay let's see here Where is Leo Sag? What's going on? Oh, yes. Some travel, some communication. Um, this is what ticked all of this off. This could have been like sparked by a, face, by a Facebook conversation or something like that. Three of Cups, Chariot. Yes, travel here. Ace of Cups. Hierophant. Two of Cups. Isn't that beautiful? Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Leo energy here. Eight of cups moving toward going the distance with this person. Yep. Um, I feel like there might have been some like momentary pause, momentary, you know, focus on the orphaned part. I just want to get one card around that. Justice. Yes. Somebody went through a divorce. Okay. Somebody went through a divorce. And they're now single. Ace of Pentacles. Change in the wind is a new beginning here. Wow, that's that's amazing. So one of the one of you guys, one of you guys traveled, traveled, <laughs> or traveling. One of you guys is traveling to see the other person. There's going to be like a celebration, or to you're traveling to a new place. Ace of Cups coming on your path here. Somebody is moving forward. Somebody has taken the initiative. Okay, that's what that's what the chariot's all about. Okay, it could be Cancerian, but it feels like I've taken the initiative in my love life to do something that's important to me. And I want to move forward in my love life. I want to move out of friend zone. I want to move out of this three of cups and towards something that is ace of cups. All right, a new beginning in love. This other person could have been um, very, very heavily connected to um, a marriage, a partnership that ended, right? That ended. And now there's an opportunity for new love here. Nine of Pentacles, feeling pretty confident about this, feeling pretty good about this. You both are, you both are at a place where this will work, even though that, that divorce thing happened or that being orphaned thing happened. I'll look into that a little bit. So, if you both had gone through some loss or something like that, I feel like the strength card, you're both getting stronger. You're both doing things that are good for yourselves and it's moving you toward um, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. Moving toward going the distance with this person. Um, this seems pretty cut and dry here. The exchanging gifts piece. Five of Wands. King of Wands. Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, King of Swords. Okay, 
So it does feel like this person could be an air sign. I also see um, Cancer and Taurus. This person could be an air sign um, and they have had some really difficult, I feel like it's them. Okay, guys, I don't feel like it's you that just went through this divorce. I feel like it's them. All right. I feel like now um, they're single. It doesn't mean it just happened. It could mean that they've been struggling with it for quite a while. Okay, they've been struggling with this and they keep everything at arm's length because they don't want to get hurt again. It's very much uppermost in their mind. Okay, they're just like, I just don't, you know. That's why the or that's why they stayed in that energy of not moving beyond that. The orphaned energy here of they needed to balance that out. Justice is balanced, Libra. Okay? So you communicating with them may bring up old fears and it also may balance them. You can't do it for them. Okay? You can't do it for them. Let me get water. Um, it's important that you know that. This is not about you having any impact. Well, you're having impact because you're, but you can't heal them. All right, you can't. I feel like this is a very strong, clear message. I feel like they're a little bit, um, I don't know, like they've been through some stuff. I do feel like it's good though. I do feel like it's moving forward. Seven of Pentacles, death, transformation. Yes, magician, king of Pentacles. Okay, so they are, they have had a lot of uh, patience and waiting in the past. You could have too have um, been waiting, you could have been waiting for this person, right, to go through this situation, all right, and now they're at a place within the next two months, all right, I feel like you guys could move forward into this Ace of Pentacles, right, a brand new beginning, you could do that, you could move forward into that, um, I do feel like, I mean, this could have started with a third party, the Three of Cups here, and you wanting to move forward into something more um, uh, just the two of us kind of thing. So one, some of you, this is for a small portion of you, you could have left a third party situ situation behind, okay? And felt orphaned by that, felt left behind. You felt left behind, but you did leave it behind, okay? And that situation makes you feel a little bit like, I don't want to get my heart broken again. I need to know exactly how this is going to unfold. There's a little bit of an attachment to the end, the outcome, that could be resistance, right? You need to let things unfold as they want to unfold. And if you attach very strongly to the outcome, that could push this person back or that could make it, you know, take a little bit of time. This person has gone through a big transition um, and I do feel like now you are very powerful, okay? Magician, king of pentacles, really powerful, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. You're just ready for commitment. You're ready for commitment. And I do feel like this person is confident. They see you as confident. They see you as somebody who they would want to be with, all right? Their problem is their past. Their problem is dealing with their past, dealing with another person that really hurt them, or uh, if you guys were together at one point and broke up or something like that and you're coming back, I don't see any coming back into your life cards. I don't see it that this is a, a soulmate of the past, but for some of you it could be that this is a new, brand new beginning for a relationship that had some problems in the past that was broken up in the past. Took a long time to overcome some stuff here. Took a long time to move out of that being orphaned. So right now the exchanging gifts, the exchanging gifts to me, well, this is an exchange of gifts, isn't it? Telling each other how you feel. And I, I really feel with everything so solid here, it does feel like um, there is a lack of, I don't want to put it in that way because that's a negative way. There is a full transparency. There is an unburdening. There is an opening up of your heart, an opening up of what you want. 
likely somebody has really held back for a while um, because of their past. Somebody really held back. All right. Or they could have been going through a third party situation and that was really holding them back. But now that's not holding them back anymore. Okay. Yeah. So I do see an air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see Cancer. I see Taurus and I see Scorpio. All right, so we're going to look at those individual signs, um, and I see Leo here, but that's you guys. That's likely both of you, all right? So I'm going to uh, do an extended read here for that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio. going to look at those signs. Okay, link is below for you. If you'd like to continue with me, I'm going to continue this reading. If not, I hope this information was helpful to you, and I will see you tomorrow.